Welcome back to the Haunted Mansion Tournament Expert Division opening round, hole number four. Here we're going to be playing a sniper bounce up shot using either a wind four or a wind five ball. P1 plus, side spin two plus, wind four or five. This one is, uh, we're going to set our landing position first which is the blue ring touching the bunker here on both sides like that so i find it easier for me to spin around you can't really see it very well if you don't spin around so i recommend you spin around so that you can see it because you want it to be touching here and you want it to be touching over here at the same time, right? The bunker. The blue ring. Once you get that position, spin it back around and make sure that you can see the tip of your ball guide. Because what we're doing is we're adding 3.2 backspin and then left spin as needed. And the left spin is as needed so that we get the tip of the ball guide just left of center of the row that's that the pin is sitting in. So basically, if you if we drew a straight line from the left edge of the cup, or like left center of the cup, that should be where the tip of our ball guide is. Just left of center of this row that the uh that the pin is sitting in right so just like you see it here just slightly left of center so this the side spin can vary a little bit because we all see 3.2 backspin a little bit differently right what might be 3.2 to me might look like 3.1 or 3.3 to you but set your backspin 3.2 and then you'll add your side spin till you get that tip of the ball guide in the right spot and if you do it that way and you follow that setup procedure you have a very good chance of walking away from hole number four with the hole in one the only other note for this the adjustment is p3 plus 35 percent max sniper 10 numbers p335 max sniper 10 and you want to pull this with a slight 1159 flicker right you don't want to pull this one with any 1201 you want to try to pull this with a slight 1159 besides that you should be good to go practice it a couple of times if you find yourself missing one side or the other then tweak where you're putting the tip of your ball guide right if you're missing it left then shift your ball guide position just a touch to the right keep your setup the same just add a little bit less left spin right but you definitely always want to set up with the blue ring in the same position and use the same adjustment all right good luck i hope you guys get the drop and we'll catch you on the next one.